Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about transformation of energy. Now, we have many different forms of energy that we use in our day-to-day -day life. But the fact is that we can actually convert one form of energy to another. For example, a solar panel converts solar energy into electrical energy which we use in our electrical appliances in our day-to-day -day lives. So, change of energy from one form to another is what we call as transformation of energy. Now, for a better understanding, let us have an example here. So, I have taken an example of a falling ball. Now, let's say this ball is at a certain height above the ground that is H. So, this ball is at a height H above the ground. Now, let us see what kind of energy this ball has actually at this point of time. Now, when this ball is at this height resting over there, this ball has got only potential energy in the form of mechanical energy. But it has got no kinetic energy at all because it is not moving. Any body which is moving or has some certain velocity is said to possess some amount of kinetic energy which depends upon its velocity of motion. But since this body is not at all moving, it has no kinetic energy at all. On the other hand, since it is at a certain height h above the ground, this gives it a kind of potential energy which we called as gravitational potential energy. So, all the mechanical energy that this ball has is solely due to the potential energy of this body because it is at a height h above the ground and that we know it is mgh. So, here the body has only potential energy and no kinetic energy at all. Now, when this ball starts falling down, let's say at this point of time, we see that what is its potential and kinetic energy. Let us see that. Now, let's say the potential energy, we need, to, we first calculate what is the potential energy of this body at this point of time. Now, here we see that it is clearly visible that the height h of this body above the ground has decreased and it goes on decreasing since it starts falling down. So the height h decreases as the ball moves down. And what happens to the velocity which was zero initially? The velocity of the ball goes on increasing at as it moves down because of the acceleration due to gravity which makes this ball keep on accelerating and it keeps on increasing its velocity. So, the velocity of this ball increases as it moves downwards. Now, as the height of this ball increases or uh, it decreases in this case, we see that the potential energy of this ball is directly proportional to its height. That is potential energy equals mgh. If h decreases, then the potential energy of the ball will also keep on decreasing. So, the potential energy at this point decreases for this ball. But what happens to the kinetic energy? We see from this expression that kinetic energy is directly proportional to the square of the velocity. So, the kinetic energy for this body will start increasing as it moves down. So, we, we conclude that the kinetic energy of the body increases as it moves down since its velocity keeps on increasing. Now let us look at the, uh, the final situation that is when it is just above the ground or just it is going to reach the ground. So at that point of time, the height has become zero and therefore the potential energy of the body will be zero because h equals zero in this expression. Now what will happen to the kinetic energy of the body? The kinetic energy of the body will actually be maximum. That is the whole of the mechanical energy that it has is solely due to kinetic energy of the body since its velocity is maximum at this point of time when, when it is about to touch the ground. So at this point of time the body has only kinetic energy and no potential energy at all. So what we notice here by observing the motion of this ball is that initially it had only potential energy and no kinetic energy. But then when it started falling down, 
the kinetic energy of this ball started increasing but the potential energy started decreasing and by the time it has reached the ground it has only kinetic energy and no potential energy so we can conclude that one form of energy that is potential energy got converted to kinetic energy as it moved down to the ground so here we can clearly see how the energy gets transformed to one from one form to the other and here in this case the potential energy of the body got transformed or changed to kinetic energy of the ball so when a body is released from a certain height any body it could be what happens is its potential energy that it had at that particular height reduces as it goes down and it, it gets converted to kinetic energy. It's not lost anywhere, but the potential energy gets converted to kinetic energy since the body starts moving. So that will be the conclusion out of this example for us. Now there are many such things which use this uh, concept. One such example is a hydroelectric power plant. Now in this case, what happens is the electrical energy is generated in this hydroelectric power plant and here what happens is the water which uh, resides behind the dam has a lot of potential energy because it is at a very great height but this potential energy is not useful for us until and unless we make this water to flow downwards or we make this water to fall now when this water starts falling from uh, this tunnel or the pipe over here what happens is its potential energy that it had at that particular height gets converted to kinetic energy as the water moves down. And that kinetic energy is used to rotate this turbine over here. Now when this turbine is rotated, what happens is since this turbine is connected to a generator, this generator generates electricity or electrical energy. So what we see here is that the potential energy that the water had was first converted to kinetic energy and that kinetic energy is being used to rotate this turbine and after which it is converted to electrical energy. So there, there were totally two transformations of energy in this hydroelectric power plant. First of all the potential energy was converted to kinetic energy then the kinetic energy of water was converted to electrical energy which we can use in our day-to-day -day life. So this is how electricity is generated from a hydroelectric power plant. So this is basically based on the principle that we have learned in the previous slide uh, by studying the falling ball from a certain height. Not only this, these bulky things, but actually we are surrounded by such energy converters. There are small gadgets that we use on a daily basis and those convert energy and that is uh, that's what we use in our day-to-day -day lives so now let us look at some such gadgets or appliances which we are all surrounded with and which are actually small energy converters so here are a few examples first one is the electric iron that we use every day almost so electrical iron, what, is the, what it does is it converts electrical energy which is supplied to it into heat energy which we use to press our clothes. Similarly, an electric motor, what it does is when it is connected to an electric supply, it converts that electrical energy to mechanical energy, to mechanical energy which is later used to perform some work. Similarly, an, a battery. Now we know where from energy comes in the battery. A battery usually has chemical reactions going on inside it and that, gen uh, that generates chemical energy. And this battery converts the chemical energy generated from the chemical reactions to electrical energy which we can use for remote controls or uh, torches that we use in our day to day basis. Now again, solar water heater. Now this solar water heater, what it does is, it converts the solar energy or light energy which falls on this solar panel to heat energy which is used to heat water. Again, a car engine. 
Now what a car engine does is it, it converts the fuel into two forms of energies. Now when the car is running and you touch the engine of the car, it, it's, it heats up, isn't it? When the car starts running, the car's engine gets heats up. So the car, chemical energy in the fuel is being converted to actually two forms of energy. One is the heat energy which we experience when we touch the car's engine and the second kind of energy is the kinetic energy which drives the car forward or which makes the car to move forward. Now again an electric bulb. Now when a room has an electric bulb on then what happens is we experience the light energy coming out from it but we, we also experience uh, we also experience the heat that this bulb produces. So what it actually does is it converts electrical energy to heat energy as well as light energy. So this is how we are surrounded by so simple gadgets which convert energy from one form to another. So that's all for uh, this topic that is transformation of energy and I hope this video was helpful to you and understandable to you. Thanks for watching. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.